So I want to talk about knee wraps. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the ACE wrap. That's probably the most common thing you're going to see or use. Uh, but let's talk about the versatility of it, why you use it, when you would use it, and what my general opinion on these are. So big picture, I generally am against anything like a knee wrap or a brace. Um, for the most part, I think it just provides a false sense of security. Logically, it doesn't make sense to me as a physical therapist how I can uh, overcome just the intense forces that are going through any of your lower extremity joints. And I feel like if we did overcome those forces, we would be putting stress on other tissues above and below where the brace actually is. So generally speaking, just like if you came in with crutches, my goal is to get you off crutches. You come in on a walker, my goal is to get you off of a walker. If you come in with a brace, my goal is to get you away from the brace, but the brace might have potential benefit for short-term use and for specific applications. Um, many of my clients will come in with these neoprene sleeves and Velcro braces and different things after a knee replacement because they feel that it helps them uh, feel more stable through the joint. It helps provide compression a little bit of warmth and so that's fine that's fine if if it's benefiting them and if they can walk and do more with the brace than without during the transition and the recovery i'm going to encourage anything that helps you feel better and move more but if i'm going to choose between those sleeves that pull up over the knee or some sort of wrap i'm generally always going to go with a wrap and the reason why is even in the best case scenario, when I've had individuals come in with some sort of sleeve that pulls up, in order for the sleeve to stay in place, there's usually some compression at the bottom, some compression at the top. If you've tried one of those sleeves, when you pull the sleeve down, if you see cutting indentations in the bottom and the, and the top of where the sleeve was, you understand immediately that it is essentially compressing and restricting circulation, restricting lymphatic drainage. Um, the goal is to get the fluid moving, not to cut off the, the mobility of that fluid and get it to pool above and below the extremity. So if I do go the route of, let's provide a little compression, a little warmth. I love the six inch wide ACE wrap that you can buy at any pharmacy or grocery store. The next step, I love these. These are actually compression wraps for um, doing back squats. So when somebody is doing a heavy, heavy back squat uh, or other Olympic lifting or power lifting, they'll use wraps like these. They're elastic, they're kind of thick. But point of this video, the reason why I want you to understand why I think a wrap might be better than a sleeve is because I can start the wrap below the knee. I can give it kind of a loose, comfortable um, first wrap. We call that the anchor wrap. And then as I come through, I can make it tighter at the center of the knee. And then again, I can make it looser above the knee. So of course, I'm on YouTube live. I totally messed this up. Um, but no big deal, right? It's a, it's a wrap. I'm going to start it a little higher. In fact, what I'll do, see if we can get this here. So I go just a little bit below the knee, loose anchor wrap so that the fluid isn't necessarily, this isn't cutting into my skin. Then as I come around the joint line, I add compression. Once I pass the joint line, I reduce the compression to the point where the top wrap is just barely holding on. And so now what I've got is I've got it snug in the middle, loose at the bottom and the top. I'm still going to get swelling down into the ankle that's not going to be able to come back into the system. But I think it's, it's, you know, we're always balancing pros and cons and I think the benefit of tighter in the middle, looser on the end outweighs the uh, neoprene sleeve or some of the other elastic sleeves 
that dig in below, dig in above. The other reason why I like this, I don't have to reach down to my foot, my toe to get the sleeve on and pull it up. So if I have finger arthritis, if I have other issues, low back, and I can't get down there, most people can reach the midline of their knee. So the wrap is convenient, it's easy, but like I said in the beginning of this video, our goal is not to be dependent on a wrap or a brace or any assistive device for the rest of your life, unless there's a reason. Our goal is to use these tools to help us improve function, help us get back to normal daily activity as smoothly and quickly as possible. So if this helps reduce pain for a little bit and I can go out and walk more, I'm going to use it. Um, but I'm not going to become dependent on it. I'm not going to use it for the rest of my life. This isn't a life sentence. It's a transition tool. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Listen, do me a favor, post your questions in the YouTube comments. I've got some new videos planned. I'm trying to juggle work in the clinic and creating content for you guys. So please like the videos. If you got value, please subscribe to the channel if I'm providing the content and questions, answers that you need. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.